Okay, this is Jeff Lynn bringing you another video commentary. I am playing UW Tempo against Stax. I am bringing you this game because it shows a strategy that is somewhat counterintuitive but highly useful against both Stax and Enchantress. When your opponent gets a soft walk on you, preventing you from bringing, from attacking um, through ghostly prisons and such. So the hand looked like an obvious keep from the perspective of just not having mana screws, having brainstorm in case he's playing aggro so I can throw my spell pierces away. Um, it was just a good hand. There's not much to ask there. Here I stay open for spell pierce rather than playing fathoms here. This is a tough choice. I think I go with putting Sarah Avenger back. Because um, I know that I don't need any particu one particular creature to kill him, and it's not a race to do so anyway, whereas all the other cards are very useful. Putting the Mother of Ruins back was a no-brainer. I almost thought about saving Brainstorm until I drew one. So double spell pierce against stacks is a pretty strong draw in the opening. So here, I think I end up choosing to play Fathom Seer first, instead of Jit. Um, maybe I'm just being a card advantage whore, but it really does seem like, at this point, I've already committed to not playing aggressively. And it's just better to use Wayfair as many times as possible. Oh, there's Ghostly Prison. Now I couldn't possibly play aggressively, even if I wanted to. There's just too many things stacks can pull off to make you revert into this lock strategy. Then, so, so you wouldn't really want to commit to an aggressive strategy. Okay, so right off the bat, I already have three wastelands. You'll see as the game progresses that it's even worse than that for my opponent. I think he'll be wasted approximately six times throughout the game. So I waste the Horizon Canopy first, because I know I'll end up wasting as many lands as possible, and I might not have a chance later to waste the Horizon Canopy. Okay, so there's a second Ghostly Prison now. Now, for sure, I'm playing for the long game. And I'm trying to lock him down with a Waste Lock and recycle these with Grunts. The plan will be that if he plays anything that is actually going to reach across and end the game, rather than just um, prevent him from losing the game, then I need to recycle forces and other counter magic to keep him off those spells. So sometimes stacks just gets hands where it gets block elements you can't ignore until the end of the game, like Chalice of the Void, Train of Spear, Smoke Stack. Usually a, com a good combination of those, and Armageddon too, will be pretty troublesome. But if it gets uh, block elements designed to prolong games against creatures, Usually, you can do something similar to what I'm doing now. So, you'll notice that he has made a choice that some stacks decks make to play Knight of the Reliquary, 
So I'm not going to be boarding out Swords to Plowshares in this match. Usually I keep a, at least a few for Mag Maguses, but now I won't even board out any. So like a good card advantage horror, I tried to avoid my cleanup step. Okay, now I've played Inner Vile, so I'm re relatively safe against um, both Chalice and Trinisphere. Oops. That's gonna hurt. It's questionable that I should have continued to pay for the Weather Wayfarers. Um, because I'm already cleaning up a lot. I mean, this time... It seemed like a good play, but later I'll be presented with the same option where it might be more questionable. Okay, well, Swords is going to go at Magus, but I remember thinking at this point that I would just have to deal with Magus for the rest of the game, or until I get a Swords, which actually turns out to be quite close to, for the rest of the game. Because Knight is more threatening. It stops my Waste Lock plan a little, and it's also a pretty huge beat stick. I hadn't been forgetting to move my Vile to 2, but it just seemed like now I'm ready to start recycling Wastelands. So it's good I've been saving um, both my Wayfarers, because it looks like I'm only going, going to get one shot to use as many Wayfarers as I have. So it's good that I can get two Wastelands back. That should keep him out of the game for quite long. I hope I decide to... Oh, huh. Can't remember what I did here. Okay, yeah. That's what I was hoping. I guess I choose to... Um... Hmm. Probably I should keep a Wayfarer. Oh? Hmm. Oh yeah, that's right. Hell, I can't use them anymore. Forgot. <laughs> okay, so I have to clean up. Mother Runes is really bad. But maybe I should have Vile Avenger into play. It's not really clear, or does it really matter? <coughs> so I forced him to make plays like Moxing, City of Traders, because he knows I have a Wasteland. So even though I'm not getting to use the Wasteland, it's still causing him significant troubles. So I'm not letting him have Big Knights and an active Crucible. So I take his lands. I think I pay for Grunt one more time, yes. Um, later I'm actually going to forget to pay the upkeep when I intended to sacrifice Grunt. But um, there's going to be a creature I didn't intend to sacrifice that will also get sacrificed. And I think it actually turns out sacrificing both is the right play, but it's not to my credit because I actually had a mind slip.
Okay, good.